This video is part of a series about getting to know your SmartBoard interactive display with IQ. In this video, we'll learn about widgets in the Displays Player app. You can access the widgets while you're delivering a lesson with the Player app. Just tap the widget icon on your SmartBoard to open the widget panel. You can customize widgets to suit your specific needs. Tap the widget and a menu button appears in the top right corner. Tap the drop-down arrow and select Settings. This opens the widget's edit mode, and you can use the available options to customize it. For example, with the clock widget, you can choose analog or digital, or even both. You can move the clock anywhere you want on the screen, where you can use it as a timer so students can keep track of the time it takes to complete tasks at the display. Select the spinner widget and customize each segment where the spinner can land. For example, you could add an equation to each segment and have students spin the wheel to select an equation to solve. With a dice widget, you can use several dice with numbers to make a math game. Students can add or subtract the numbers shown on one die with the numbers shown on the other. You can also customize the dice to use letters instead of numbers and have students roll the dice to build words. The spinner and dice widgets are a great way to provide variety and an element of chance to your lessons. The IQ widgets also include a number of measuring tools, such as a ruler and a protractor. Select the ruler widget. Pick up a pen and draw straight lines to come up with measurements. The ruler works with both metric or imperial units. Use the protractor widget to show students how to measure angles on the display. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and tricks, or visit smarttech.com. Thanks for watching.